Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to explain to you um, about clutch alignment and why it is important to always, when you fit a new clutch, to make sure you use a clutch alignment tool. Now a clutch alignment tool, what that does is it enables you to ensure that the clutch, this, fits onto your flywheel so then it is dead centred. Now, the issue if you don't have a, a centered fly, centered clutch plate, is you can get juddering, you can get play, uh, and sometimes when you actually come to put the actual gearbox back in, it just won't line up. Now, over the years, we fitted hundreds of clutches um, on various different vehicles from MGZTs, Rover 75s, BMWs, Minis, Land Rovers, Fiestas, Focuses. Dodge Challengers, various other makes and models, and it's always imperative that you make sure you use a clutch alignment tool. I don't care who out there says, don't use a clutch alignment tool. You can do it by eye. If you can do it by eye, okay, fair enough, but I can guarantee it isn't where it's meant to be, and you're putting a lot of stress onto that clutch, which then can result in clutch failure. It's just better just to spend that extra bit of time and do your alignment now there's various different kits that you can buy from the likes of halfords uh machine mart amazon um ebay uh various others we've used various different ones over the years um but the one that we've used uh for the last four years is this one which is the mechanic universal clutch alignment tool you can get it off most tool vans or you can get it off um, Amazon. The part number, the item number is M1183. Now, how it works, I'll just push that button there a minute. How it works is literally you have inside here, you open it up, like so, and you've got three lines. So you have your spindle okay which you put your different dials on so that's your spindle the bottom line is for your your flywheel so you find out exactly which one you need for your flywheel so you check it before you put the clutch on so what you do is you get it grab one screw it on to the end and literally sort it in a nice tight fitting means that that is the right dowel, okay? Now, when it comes to the actual clutch, what you do, you get your clutch, which is that bit, your spindle. Find your different sizes, so you know, for instance, it ain't going to be a one, because, well, I've, to be honest, in over the years, I've never had to use the one so most of them i've used from number three onwards so literally you get your size so say for instance you get a four okay that i can actually push through which isn't right and that is not centered that is too that's too loose okay so you get the next size up which is a five and that's relatively okay and then get your thing and that's nice and tight and if you just want to just make sure you get your next size up which is a six which then that is definitely quite tight but it ain't gonna move so that is now centered on that tool so you have your other end for your flywheel which then you slide in and that will then enable you to then put your clutch plate on and align everything up. Always make sure that you can pull them out after because there's nothing worse than having it stuck in the tool and you can't get it undone. Now, one of the reasons why I recommend this kit is because it's made out of metal. It's not made out of rubber, it's not made out of plastic. Now, I've got plastic dies, like that's not a plastic die, but 
we've got plastic various different dies like that which they're rubber and they just don't fit well see it's on this one it's one to do with one that my father-in-law did years ago i dug this out of the spares box just so i can show you and he's had to use electrician's tape just so then he could get it to line up it's always worth using a clutch alignment tool now this this kit will cover vehicles from mazda mitsubishi aldi fiat ford honda rover saab land rover Vauxhall, v dub and volvos and probably many more i've used it on a dodge challenger and it fitted lovely so even on american stuff it fits so but you can get it i've checked on amazon still to this day and you can also get it on ebay as well so uh but which with the item number is m1183 and it's a kit that i very highly recommend so i hope this video has been a bit better than the one that i did a few years ago with very bad camera angles so you couldn't see um but literally, if you like these videos uh, with a bit of advice, um, don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll put more up for you. Uh, we'll do a video shortly on um, spring compressor tools because literally that's another one that I get asked quite a lot about um, by various people over the years. As well, even though we're a garage, we still like to give people the right advice. And it's I've always said it's you don't mess with coil springs the force that's on them it is literally so i'd rather give the right information tell you the right tools to use that we use so that literally you're safe okay so if you like the channel please uh, like and subscribe and have a great day